what's up y'all we in kuwait very random i know i've never been to kuwait never thought i'd ever come to kuwait but we in kuwait anyways we came this morning we slept for like four hours we came to the house by like eight and then woke up by like one got ready and now it's like almost i think it's three something right now we're about to go get brunch in the city i didn't know what to expect from kuwait because I've, i don't know i've never really considered coming to kuwait ever it was just never a thought i don't know but i'm kind of excited to explore the city we're here for a week Inshallah. I got the egg in a bun. This is the big sandwich. The fries were nicely done. This is the, the Kinder pancake. Yeah. Huh? That was really good. We just had brunch and that was really good food, alhamdulillah, like tasted really good. It's kind of weird because uh, apparently we're in the winter season so the sun is actually setting early. It's currently 4.21 p.m. and it's gonna be setting soon. We are off to our next destination. So this is literally one of many mosques inside this park like how beautiful is this so we're at Shahid Park I have no words everywhere is like picturesque so scenic so beautiful tranquil so we're just currently in one of the many cafes in Shahid Park earlier we were just at the mosque um, it was Maghrib time wow. isn't it so good by the way this Spanish latte we just came to the city and this is the first thing that we're seeing I can't wait to see the rest of the city Bro, I think I was made to live in the Middle East Africa and the Middle East Like I was made to live in those areas Canada is not it for me Bro, yo! So we just got back home. It's actually currently 7.56 p.m. Everywhere in Kuwait is like very close to each other. Where we were was Kuwait City. Where we are now is like less than 10 minutes away from Kuwait City. Kuwait's a really small country. So the way the city is divided is very interesting. It's like one big city chopped up into like many like little boroughs. So Kuwait City is like their downtown. And then like then all the other areas are like the boroughs surrounding it. If you're going from one place to another, it shouldn't take you even 20 minutes to get there that's how small the city is which is very interesting what up y'all today is wednesday yesterday we didn't do much we kind of stayed at home we decided to step out tonight by the way like in the middle east people tend to like go out more in the evenings rather than the daytime even though they're in their winter season and it's really not that hot anymore people just tend to go out in the evenings i actually have a cardigan on because i was told that it gets kind of cold and i'm not gonna lie it's a little breezy tonight but anyways we came to this place called maruj food complex no you guys i'm not even lying it's actually kind of cold it's not cold for me like i'm loving this type of weather i'm just surprised that the desert actually really does have winter weather i feel like this is what toronto needs this is what we don't get we always want fall weather we don't end up getting a long enough fall season to really enjoy and thrive in so this is just like the perfect medium for someone like me who came from canada but i will say it is pretty breezy it is on the cooler side which is so strange because we just came back from saudi and saudi is literally neighboring kuwait and saudi was like really hot and even and that heat that they were having is not actually like their hottest time of the year so we just got to the november cafe we're about to have some desserts it's so cold they have to bring this fire thing right next to us yeah it's actually kind of cold i'm not even gonna lie but nothing i can't handle oat milk oat like milk spanish latte strawberry tart hot apple crumble spanish latte and then another coffee let's dig in mm -hmm. Mm. It tastes like a hug. You know how it's saying it kind of feels like fall here? And then eating a hot apple crumble feels like fall. It tastes like fall. Hey guys, it's the next day. Today's Thursday. You guys, guess what? You know how I say it wasn't cold yesterday? It wasn't cold, it wasn't cold. I don't know if you guys can hear it from my voice. I actually caught a cold. Now I understand when people were saying, yo, this desert cold is a different type of cold. The breeze didn't feel that cold whatsoever at all. It was actually a nice breeze. I'm not gonna lie though, we were outside for like two and a half hours, almost three hours. Eventually you kind of like feel a little cool, but it wasn't 
wasn't anything like uncomfortable guess what that entire time i'm catching a cold because by the time we got home i actually got sick so now i'm like nasally alhamdulillah something serious i just feel kind of like congested but i was actually really shocked and now i'm like kind of traumatized because it's, it's a little windy today but it's not cold but i'm so traumatized from last night so basically we're at a place called the marina beach it's really beautiful so we just got here right now it's currently 4 19 p.m But now the sun is set and I feel like my cold is actually getting worse. Our car is here. We're gonna head over to Kuwait's biggest mall. It's called Avenue Mall. This is Kuwait's skyline. Clearly does not do it any justice. I'm not gonna lie to you, they have so many nice things. It's like all the fall stuff are currently in stock. I'm itching to buy stuff, but like I'm worried about the weight of my bags. But they really have a lot of nice things here. <laughs> We just came to the spot here. Uh, we're still in the Kuwaiti Mall. We just wanted to have some dessert. And as we were walking around, we found this place and we decided to come and sit here. I'm actually matching the aesthetic of this place. How cute is that? Her bag. Why is this so big? Mahamara tastes so good. Happy Friday everyone Alhamdulillah I feel like I'm kind of getting a little bit better It's 11.09 a.m. We're waiting for our car They pray Dhuhr here really early Which is like 11.30 We're trying to make it to Jum'ah And then after Jum'ah inshallah We're gonna go for a brunch I'm gonna link up with one of my friends Probably some other girls I'm not quite sure yet And then honestly like We don't really have anything specifically planned For the rest of the day But we will be out all day inshallah So I'll bring you guys along So far I'm not gonna lie to you I'm really enjoying Kuwait So sad that I'm actually leaving saturday night inshallah and today's friday yeah tomorrow evening all of a sudden for some reason kuwait just flew by i don't know if it's because my vacation is almost coming to an end and then the last bit of it is just like da 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 over here after Jamal to make it to their brunch. First of all, it's so beautiful here. Apparently, they stopped serving brunch at 12.30. We literally made it exactly 12.30. We're just gonna go for lunch. But the views here, we're literally sitting in front of the window right now, mashallah. <laughs> So we just got to Al Mubarakia, which if you've been to Dubai, it's very similar to the souk that they have. It's like the gold souk, basically. Anyways, we just left the girls. We were literally hanging out with the girls for a while. It was a bunch of us. It was really, it was really nice. We ended up having lunch. We then had coffee and we just chilled and walked around the pier. Went to go see the Kuwait Towers. I'm literally in a big jacket and we're just now going through the souk. <laughs> I don't even know what I vlogged. I don't know where I left things off. I am so exhausted. It was such a long, long day today. Alhamdulillah, it was a really like nice day. But I'm actually tired. We left the house today at um, 11 actually. Yeah, why am I even thinking about that? And then right now, it's literally 10, 24 p.m. So we were out for a good 12 hours. Tomorrow is going to be our last day in Kuwait. Good afternoon, I guess. I think it's uh, currently like 1.47 p.m. PM. We are standing in front of our restaurant. We are currently waiting to be seated shortly We're at this place called the cultural center and the restaurant that we're waiting for is a, a restaurant that my friend recommended Then after this we're gonna go to the spa inshallah and then head
head back home, get ready, and then we are off to the airport. Oh my god. <laughs> We just finished having our brunch and wallahi that was some incredible food that we just had granted we never had any bad food so far what do you think that was fantastic. wallahi it was 10 10 like 10 10 if you're in kuwait make sure you come to coco room shout out to my friend for recommending this place yeah. the portions were small portions are deceivingly small deceivingly because like you put them in your stomach and you let it sit and you're like oh then you already have another thing on, on the way but we're also we're used to like north america and our large portions and our over consumption of things wallahi it was the perfect portion perfect everything so yeah anyways off to the spot we go we at the herbal spa. <laughs> How do you open it? Oh, <laughs> we're such fobs. <laughs> we're currently just waiting. We came here a little early. Our appointment's at 5 p.m., so we have half an hour to go. I'm actually really excited. Two hours later. I can wait. Oh, cabin in the cabin. Full main serving. Business class cabin. 